Farmers in Kenyan rural areas can embrace the production of indigenous plant species to not only promote healthy diets but also as an alternative source of income. Community-based organizations who are training and sensitizing the public on the venture are calling on the government to bridge the gap between producers and consumers to increase a farmer's income. Trevor Ngeno with the details. The two-day national dialogue on indigenous foods by the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development has given indigenous agriculture advocates a platform to exhibit samples of organic crops with doing artistic pieces. One of the exhibitors, Pelham Kenya, works with community-based and civil organizations building farmers' capacity to promote agri-ecology. We are also having programs at Pelham Kenya where we directly involve the youths, especially to do value addition and also to be innovative and kind of market them and give them space and prominence as much as possible. Majority of them don't use the, the indigenous vegetables. And the reason being is that they don't know these, these, these indigenous, indigenous vegetables. And also, as well as a consumption of these indigenous vegetables, unless we train them, they don't know about it. Seed Savers Kenya, who have been collecting indigenous seeds for over a decade, say that preserving indigenous seeds will ensure better crop yields for farmers. Farmers getting uh, the, the planting materials for these indigenous crops is very hard. Even uh, supply through the agrovets, you, you can't fight them. And the only alternative that is there for them to be able to diversify in their farms is to save their own seed and have the seed banks that can act as source of planting materials every planting season. The stakeholders are calling for collaboration between government and grassroots organizations to scale organic farming. The market is there, but the support from the government is uh, a, a bit wanting. And we have been working with some of the counties uh, who have already um, even instituted uh, or rather put in place uh, agroecological bills and policies. Over 600 farmers have benefited from the program that has made farming cheaper by eliminating the use of processed fertilizer. By grinding this to this, Organic farmer groups hope to not only increase the shelf life of these indigenous crops, but also make them more appealing to the youth. Trevor Nindo for Prime Edition, Nairobi.